What's up guys? Are you ready to make some Travis Scott fragments? Well, you've come to the right place. First things first, we gotta make room for the iconic backwards swoosh by removing the stitching with an X-Acto knife. And then be prepared to spend some time taking out the little fibers. I hear holding a lighter to them works, but then again, I didn't want to burn the house down, so try at your own risk. And voila, stitches removed. Now let's move on to the fun part, which is painting. Yes! This collector's edition royal five is very handy since it's the exact color match for our fragments. We're gonna add a few drops of dollar in order to get the matte look and mix our paint until it's ready for spreadage. Spreadage? Sounds really inappropriate. Paint about five to six coats of royal blue or until you start to see full coverage. For the wings logo, I switched to a small detail brush for extra precision. I'll link that in the description below. And now that we're done with the blue, it's time to start painting all areas that need to be black. By staring at this picture for a very, very long time, it looks like the uppers aren't a stark white, but more of a cream white. So I mixed in a tad bit of beige for more of a retro looking white, and I'm just gonna apply about two to three coats in all the white areas. For the swoosh, I went ahead and just grabbed a picture online, scaled it up to size, and then grabbed a piece of printer paper and tape to trace around the lines with a pen. From there, I placed a traced image on my piece of leather and cut around the lines in order to get an accurate shape and sized swoosh for my shoe. You can find this piece of leather at your local Joann's or on Amazon. Now that we have our cutout, it's time for the heavy duty stuff. Old trusty barge cement. You're gonna wanna place the glue on the backing and then hold a heat gun to it until you see the glue start to bubble and get tacky. Once it's tacky, you'll be able to place it where you'd like on the shoe with a really durable stick. Bam, swoosh out of the way. Let's get this tag on the tongue converted to white and blue by laying down white and going back in with a detail brush to fill in the lettering. One of my new favorite things is making soles a retro beige yellow and this is by far the best method for a permanent dye. You're just going to mix a small amount of yellow and beige to a glob of Salon Care 40 volume cream. Lay about two to three coats on the sole and you'll get this absolute perfect aged color and look. Then for the sole, we're just going to paint regularly, but it's highly recommended to use a sole shield after painting. For our final step, we're going to apply the iconic decals on the back of the shoe. These are heat transfers and they're a newly added product on my website. All we need to do is place a transfer in the desired area, run our mini iron over it until we see it's completely stuck. Then wait one to two minutes before peeling the plastic away in a rolling motion. Decals applied, our custom is officially done. 